briefly, we're here with Dr. David Arrington, CEO of Arrington Coaching. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. So it takes someone 30 days to make a change, mm -hmm. right? What, what does it take for someone to understand that it's not gonna be overnight and that they do have to figure out in a month's, month's time? So you can make a change immediately, but the, the difficult part is making sure that change sticks. So most of us think, you know, we're 21 days or a lot of 21 day challenges and that gets you most of the way there. But some recent studies have shown it really takes about 30 days. So when you're 21 days in, you're almost there. But if you think that the, <laughs> everything's done at 21 days, it may lead you to some relapse and some of those great habits you've been working on so hard may fall apart. So how does someone get through the bad times in those in those 30 days? It's called mental toughness. Um, but not everyone's mentally tough. Uh, but it, the funny thing about mental toughness is it's a skill you can develop. Okay. Uh, when we're all younger, it takes nothing to make us cry. Or you know, when we're kids, we get our our, our egos and we, our little hearts bruised so easily. As we get older, we develop a resiliency and a mental resiliency mm -hmm. that's going to be necessary to to push through the obstacles, the disappointments, the rejection that you're talking about, and even to stay focused enough to build a business. So what you've got to end up doing is you've got to choose every single day that this is the new you. So that's why 30 days, if you can stick with something for 30 days, if you can get up and make a conscious choice that I'm going to do this for 30 days, generally by the end of it, you don't have to make the conscious choice anymore. For someone that isn't mentally tough, what are some skills or what are some ways that they can practice? Okay, you gotta reprogram. And again, that takes time. It's, so I, I disbelieve that people aren't mentally tough. I just, I believe we make poor choices that lead us back to the same places. So if we make better choices, we get better results. So saying I'm not mentally tough and you're gonna have to pardon me for this, I think it's an excuse. Sure. I mean, you can change anything you want. You can pick uh, a weight that you want and if you're serious about it and you seek out the right help to get there, you can get there. So again, if you're not, if you feel you're it's not mentally- how much mentally, do you want it? Exactly. Right? And if you don't want it, you're not gonna get it. Yeah. I mean, if you're anything in this life is that way. Sure. You gotta go get everything. Right. So yeah, I would I would tell them if they feel they're not mentally tough, surround themselves with people who are more mentally tough. And you become the average of the five people you hang around. Yeah. So if those people are mentally tough people, your mental toughness quotient is going to rise. You know the way I got this TV show was because I saw an opportunity raise my hand mm -hmm. and I kept going after it. Mm -hmm. And so I felt that I was mentally tough enough to get it, even when other people were like, mm, it's probably not. And I said, no, I'm gonna push through and make it happen. Two years later, we're still here. Exactly. David Arrington, 30 days of success. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, you're so welcome. Watch Connect, Sunday mornings at nine on 13 News Now.